Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. She got Jasmine Brian Peace, and this is my story. Okay, vibes. Today in this video is just gonna be me talking, um, as always. But this is it's not planned. It's just off the top of my head, honestly. Like I've just been today, then yesterday, and the day before yesterday. I just been in this like funk, like um, and it could be coming from TikTok too. I I think it's it's definitely coming from TikTok. I've just been in this funk, like. I don't, I'm the type of person, okay, let's start here. I'm a Capricorn, okay? If you know anything about Zodiac signs, then you know Capricorns, child, you just know. We ain't asking for shit, okay? I am a Capricorn, and sometimes I feel like I don't ask for help, like, when I need it. Like, I'm the type of person, I'm gonna do everything myself. I don't care, I'm not gonna ask for help. I'm so, you know, um, independent, like, and I feel like sometimes that shit is what's hurting me. Like, people can literally be like, let me help you, let me help you. And I'm just like, no, it's okay, it's okay. Even when I need help, I still be like, it's okay, it's okay. And I don't know why I am like that. Like, Jasmine. And I, I, I can say maybe a little bit I know why I'm like that. Because I feel like sometimes when, or some experiences that I've been through in life, when people help me, they use that against me. Oh, remember when I used to do, when I did this for you? Or remember when I did that for you? I don't like when people hit me with that shit. Like, don't hit me with that shit. Like, I don't like that. So that's why I, myself, I don't ask people for help, you know? And when people try to give me things, it's hard for me to accept it, to be very honest. It's really, really hard for me to accept it. Even when um, a friend made, did a, a birthday party for me, like a surprise birthday party i've never had a birthday party in my entire life until this one time um and it was a surprise birthday party me I honestly deep deep down inside like i don't like surprises but i would like to surprise other people you know what i'm saying like don't do it for me but i'll do it for you type of thing i don't know why i'm like that but i'm like that um when i get gifts it's kind of like hard for me i'm like mm, you know oh thank you i don't know it's just i don't i don't know why i feel this way but i just get like cringy and inside like like, you know, I don't want to overreact, but I am very thankful for the gift. Because I just, sometimes I just don't want people to feel like I don't appreciate things that they do for me or whatever. And I feel like I have to over, over say or overdo to let them know like, hey, I really appreciate you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate you for this. I'm just that type of person. Like, I don't know why I'm so like... I'm just very independent and like it's hard for me to ask for help but it's just like bruh so anyways going back to the tiktok thing i'm not editing this video y'all just gonna get it raw okay okay all right um yeah so going back to the tiktok i was reading like through my comments it's so many comments i can't like read through all of them and i'm like still kind of new on tiktok if you go back to like my videos when my video went viral it was like only like a couple videos before that i i don't know shit about tiktok you know what i'm saying so um i finally figured found out how to like go to the comments or whatever like when you click your notifications at the top it says all activity or you can change it so i changed it to like comments so that way it's easier for me to read the comments so I was reading the comments or whatever, and a lot of comments was like, oh, um, you should start a GoFundMe. Um, what's your cash app? I did end up putting my cash app in my TikTok. Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. But yeah, I ended up putting my tic my TikTok. My oh my god, my cash <laughs> my cash app in my TikTok or whatever. Um and uh, a lot of people say like, you should start a GoFundMe or whatever. But me, I don't want anyone to get anything confused. I The reason why I haven't started or and when I waited to put my cash app in my bio, my TikTok, is after I told my story. Because one, I don't want to be misleading or mislead anybody. You know what I'm saying? Living in my car was my choice. When I, I told my story on TikTok, but it's like, it's still more to the story, but I don't know if I'm going to like upload more of the story until, unless they want to know more or whatever, I'll ask. But it's just like, I want to get my story out first because I don't want people to be like, oh, here, 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 you're, you don't have this and you don't have that. You're, you're this, you're that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give, 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 but they don't know my true story. And I'm not that type of person. I'm not just going to take from you. Like, I'm not going to take from you. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I don't want to take from you because you ha you have this. You per perceive. 
child, I don't know if that's the right word. Uh, you, um, you, you feel what you feel. I don't know how to say it. Okay, so I don't want to like take something from somebody because they think something about me. Like they think, oh my gosh, she don't have anything. She don't have this. She don't have that. I, w I wanted to share my story on TikTok first before I decided to put my cash app in my bio because I didn't want people to feel like, oh, she do she do this by choice and y'all sending her money or da, da 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 or whatever. Like that's not the case. I feel as if if you genuinely want to help me in my journey and you genuinely, you know, want to help me get to that next level or, you know, want to help me, you know, do whatever it, that I'm trying to do and you want to donate, absolutely, I get it. But first, again, I'm going to tell you my story first. I don't want you to assume anything. I'm going to tell you my story first so that way... I don't feel guilty for taking something from someone when someone else may need it more than I do. So, I try to ain't none of your business. Get out of the main business. Okay, yes, ma'am. But yeah, so um, that's that. I want to tell my story first. And in anyway, you know, in, um, excuse not anyway, anywhere on YouTube, um, I I tell my story. People will ask me in my comments here on YouTube, and they'll ask me um. Oh, uh, can we? How can we donate? Um, do you have a GoFundMe? What's your Cash App? You got PayPal stuff like that. I feel like I need to tell my story first. Me, my first video that I did when I went viral here on YouTube, um, I told my story like on there. So I didn't want anyone to feel like, you know she's only doing this because she wants money from people no that's not the case if you've been following me or if you go back and look at my other videos y'all know i've been working and i work my ass off like i work you know what i'm saying at the same time living in a car even though i work i still have bills i don't have as many bills as i did before but i still have bills so i still work of course um but again i don't want anyone to feel as if like oh she's trying to paint this picture because it's not like y'all know i keep it real with y'all i keep it real with y'all from the time i wake up with crust in my eyes to the time i got the shit after i ate you know what i'm saying like i keep it real with y'all and i don't again people are gonna think what they want to think at the end of the day hell some people don't even think i live in my damn god child i be here every day of day but okay that's you not me okay um but yeah i just i just want to make things clear like living in my car yes it was by my it was by choice as you guys know that um when i first moved in my car if you well if you don't know if you know hi um when i first moved in my car i asked family well i'm not, I'm not gonna say family i asked my stepdad he told me no um but i still kept chucking on i kept doing my thing or whatever and i decided that okay well i'm gonna live in my car because i don't want to live paycheck to paycheck staying in this apartment and i'm not even here you know what i'm saying like i'm always out or you know or whatever so living in my car is a choice and i don't want people to feel as if oh she has to do this oh poor girl and some people say like oh i'm so sorry for you and this and that at at the beginning i was like oh shit you know like damn i'm really about to live in a car you know but then after time passed like, I don't want people to feel sorry for me. Like, don't feel sorry for me. Like, and I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, look at it like, um, like somebody, like, okay, my, my friend, uh, Jabria, I'm sure she don't mind me saying this, but my friend Jabria, um, I haven't, like, talked to her other than on social media for maybe like a year or so now because we are in two different states. Um, but she was doing some, she had some type of donation that she was doing for, um, oh my God, I hope I'm not mistaken what it was for. Um, it's for her classroom. She's a teacher and, um, she had like a, where you can give donations or whatever. And I just saw on her story one day and she was like, she was only a few dollars away from her donation. And I'm like, what is she talking about? Cause I, I, I didn't know what it was for or whatever. So I reached out to her and I asked her what it was about or whatever. She told me. I kind of forgot what it was. I think it was for her, her class, girl. I'm sorry, girl, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, so I was like, well, how much do you need left or whatever? At that time, they already reached their goal, but I still wanted to donate something, so I did. So it's just like, 
if you're gonna give where am i going with this jasmine because your ass is all over the place because my head baby i gotta get this out of my head honey um if you're gonna if you want to donate don't donate because you feel sorry for me donate because you want me to um it see you want me to you you want to see me do better but i don't want anybody to feel like oh my god i'm so sorry for her like i'm down and out please don't ever feel that way you know what i'm saying because if you're donating for that reason i would rather you donate it to somebody who would need it more than i do and i can say that wholeheartedly i don't take things from people if i don't necessarily need it even when people like, again even when people ask me like justin do you need this you need that i still say no um sometimes i do actually need it but i won't say it you know what i'm saying why are we like that who the fuck oh girl you gotta i didn't say the whole word i'm sorry who are we like i don't know I, I just don't know i just feel like honestly like i don't know why i do it i don't i just don't know why i do it but um i did look up the stuff as far as like the gofundme and everything like that and I, when I, I thought about it, I was like, oh my God, yeah, this would be a great idea. People are saying this, but again, I want people to know my story first before you decide to donate. Um, and then also too, um, it was something else what I was about to say. Sugar, honey, guys, tea, baby. Oh my God. Um, oh, the, another thing too with the whole donation thing. Um, a lot of people don't realize like taking time out to record videos, taking time out to edit videos, um it takes time you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's not only a donation because i'm living in my car but a donation because i put a lot of work into my videos and, and my content you know what i'm saying and somebody could say well you get paid from youtube youtube do not pay a lot especially for smaller content creators and i am a small content creator like my i think did i tell y'all yeah yeah my i think i told y'all i can't remember exactly how much my bills was total for like a whole month it's between like eight and nine hundred dollars or whatever but that's youtube as of now is not paying all of that you know what i'm saying for me like i still have to work i still have to go out here and get money you know what i'm saying and i feel like me when i record my videos and stuff like that if you want to donate to the content itself um cool because i people put a lot of work into the shit that they do like even i was going through tiktok and i was seeing like because again i don't know much i'm seeing like do other people put their cash app because somebody was like put your cash app in your um bio and i'm like do other people do this shit so i'm looking through like people that i follow and i'm like damn everybody do this shit i'm like why and i thought about it it's because we as creators we put time into shit and we should get paid for it you know what i'm saying like we're making you laugh we're showing you great items you know we're giving the you these products and um product suggestions and giving good advice and things like that and you know if you want to get paid for it get paid for it. if somebody feel like they want to donate it donate to you for your content or whatever allow that and i, I don't know why that is so hard for me to allow people like y'all i'm telling y'all since i've been on youtube like not since I've been, because at the beginning, baby, you wasn't doing much. Baby, I know. Calm down. But, like, since my video had went viral about me staying in my car or whatever, when I got laid off from Forever 21, a lot of people comment, like, what's, what's your PayPal? What's this? What's that? And I wouldn't say much, but, like, later on in life, I can't remember when. I think I put my cash app in... I think I ended up putting my cash app in that video. If I'm not mistaken, y'all let me know if I did or not. I think I did, but I don't... No, I think I think it is in that video, but I didn't do it till like later on, like later on. And um I did get a good bit of people that actually donated. Some people even sent me and I don't know how they did that, but they did it. They sent me um oh my god, this one guy he sent me this um a gift card through an email from the restaurant that I was talking about in one of my videos. And it was like a twenty five dollar gift card to that restaurant. I was like, Oh, I didn't know you could do it like that, honey. I didn't know you can send, like, gift cards through emails. Like, do y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, he ended up sending me, like, a $25 gift card to this restaurant or whatever. Because I was like, I really like eating at this restaurant or whatever. That was cool. Um, I did put my, uh, my cash app in my TikTok bio. And since then, I did get some donations. Um, 
and I don't I know I don't know how to I don't think you can respond back to people on cash out but I just put like the like emoji or whatever on on the people that donated so if you are one of those people that donated thank you so much I really appreciate it um again I just want people to know my story before they feel like oh I sent her money and she's not you know she's not what she is you know I don't I don't even know how to explain shit you know what I'm saying like if you're gonna send it send it because you want me to continue to make videos you want me to continue the great content or you it, like a tip so say you at that's what it is it's called it ain't called no donation it's called a tip here's a tip i think girl don't give me the laugh okay so i need to hurry because it's getting dark um so basically it's like say you are how can i explain this say you are um oh my goodness say you work at a job say you're a waitress or whatever you know you get paid right you get you already get your hourly pay or whatever i think i don't know how waitresses go but i know they get tips so you're a waitress you already getting paid for it but as customers guess what we do i know i do it i always do it i always would tip you so i look at this when people say i have well i'm not gonna say i look at this but i'm going forward looking at this like okay somebody want to tip me it's a tip you know what i'm saying on top of what i do you know what i'm saying um but again I didn't want to make this video too long, but I just want to come on here and share this with you guys and try to upload this video before it gets too late. I'm sorry, I apologize. But yeah, so um, that's all I got. But comment below. Let me know what you guys think or whatever. I'm open. Um, Y'all know me. I'm open to suggestions, negativity. I'm not really open to it, but shit. Say what you got to say anyways. Um, But just tell me what you guys think. Like, how should I go about this? Because youtube ain't really doing it right now you know what i'm saying <laughs> and um yeah on tiktok i think you get paid you get paid on tiktok too but it's like you don't get paid to the end of the month and i don't really know how it goes my little cousin she like went viral on tiktok um a couple months ago and she get paid off of tiktok so it's like i think she said you get paid at the end of the month you get paid at the end of the month or whatever but i don't know how they um calculate how they pay you out if that makes sense i looked it up but i keep getting like different answers but yeah so that's that um so i'm just going to go ahead and wrap things up thank you guys so much for stopping by watching this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and always stay vibrant peace